I do have a problem with the word race because it's ultimately a, a word that needs a definition. And uh, depending on, and actually, what is race, you know? Um, I've always felt, I mean, in Singapore, we have got, you know, classifications, um, but um, it, 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 it's just like boxes. Uh, I, I like to think that, um, you know, uh, people of colour um, can be people with different kinds of hair. So maybe, uh, you know, a person with short hair, long hair, curly hair, red hair, <laughs> yellow, yellow hair. Um, so I just see, you know, people have different skin tones, yeah? But that doesn't really define who they are. You know, they are just people. So I don't really know if what if one day we classify people like you know the red, those people with curly hair one side, the people with straight hair <laughs> the other side. You know, context is very important. Context. I'll if I if I just show if just what looking. I mean, uh, you know, looking at an incident from a clip, a, a video clip, or just an excerpt of a conversation, for example, it's it's um, may not. You know, what happened before and what happened after? What is the context of this exchange or engagement? It's very difficult to um, be really fair without really like going from the beginning of the, of the whole thing, right? So it, this kind of thing is just going to be what of like, it stirs up, you know, the baser instincts of people to react um, instinctively rather than reasonably. And I think that uh, such, it's um, it's an unnecessary. Uh, sorry, it's a, not a very responsible way of um, getting attention. Uh, I like to to have attention to worthy causes, you know, but attention in terms of riling up a person's unreasonable emotions because of some triggering remark that was we don't know what. You know what's before, and you know that oh, it happened and everything. So I think that can be um, can be unnecessarily uh, a brutal tool, you know, uh, and hurt a lot of people in the process. Yeah. So it's not a very uh, responsible way to use uh, public media. So I, I think that most of the time uh, we like to say, "Oh, this is racist" or whatever. But actually, if somebody has been probably feeling hurt or um, you know what we call offended or whatever and it's because maybe there has been a lack of understanding you know a lack of understanding of how it is on you know on the receiving end of such a, a sentence you know or, or attitude being given you know um, so a lot of things uh, may not actually be uh, so-called racist, but it's just maybe uh, displaying a lack of understanding. I'll give you a very real example. Uh, you know, some years back, Dolce and Gabbana um, wanted to enter the China market, and um, they did a series of advertisements uh, which went down very badly with the, uh, the buyers, the Chinese buyers that they were trying to sell their product. And it has, it's, it's a well-known fiasco of the Chinese advertisements that they did to promote their brand and um, and uh, very people that you know they were trying to promote the product to were turned off by um, how the ad was made so I don't so you know I just say that sometimes um, you know lack of understanding you know can cause um, a lot of unnecessary um, controversy yeah, um, and uh, hindsight is always twenty twenty, and and you know, all of us need to also check ourselves. Is that how much respect are we showing to um, the person that we are speaking to? You know, or do we have this uh, feeling that of superior, of unnecessary superiority? Yeah, so um, I think that um, you know. Mutual respect. As long, so long as you have the mutual respect attitude, I don't know how you can go wrong in a conversation. 